In this video, we're going to be adding connections to our building in the form of stairways and elevators, and this is going to allow us to navigate between floors in our 3D viewer. So all we need to do to do this is come down to our connections menu, and we're going to add stairways first. So you can either press S to activate the stairway tool or click it here. And you'll notice that we now have a stairway icon attached to our mouse. So what we're going to do is find all the stairways. Um, there's one in each corner of this building. And we simply just click to place. What we need to do though is make sure that this stairway uh, spans all of the floors that we need it to so that we can navigate between all those floors. So I'm going to make sure that all the floors are clicked. And now that connection will duplicate across all the floors in this building. We're gonna do the same thing but I'm going to place the rest of the connection or the rest of the stairways first. So I know that there are in all four corners, so I'm simply going to zoom in and out and pan to place it in the four corners. I'm now going to select all of them at once and edit all their floor spans at once in the name of efficiency. So I'm going to select one connection and then I'm going to hold spacebar and pan over, hold shift, and select the second one. Again, spacebar, pan, hold shift, and select the third one. So now that I've got the rest of my stairways selected, I can edit this, the floor spans for all of them at the same time. So I'm going to go and make sure that all of the levels are checked. And lastly, I'm going to place an elevator right where this elevator shaft is here. So again, I'm coming into the connections menu, I'm choosing elevator, and I'm gonna to click to place it there. And lastly, I'll make sure that this floor span is all floors as well. So that's how you add connections to your map. I'll see you in a second in the 3D viewer. Okay, so here we are in the 3D viewer after adding all of our connections. Um, so now I'm going to show you basically how this works to navigate between them. We're gonna to go to level two, and you'll see here I added a location, classroom 204, and we're gonna navigate from the ground floor up to this one. And this is why it's important to add connections to multi-floor venues. So I'm gonna click directions, and it's navigating me from the nearest entrance to the outdoors. But let's say, for example, we were in the music room. So it's gonna take us over to this connection in the corner and to go upstairs, we'll click this arrow. And then it's telling us that we're coming from the connection to the classroom. So without properly formatting the connections to span all floors and placing them in the right areas. Navigation between floors like this isn't possible, so it's a very important thing to get right in our editor. And that's how you add connections to your building.